Hello and welcome back. I thought it was time for an updated van tour. I stopped at my sister's place in Wisconsin and dropped off some more stuff. Always trying to minimize and downsize. So let's check it out. We are on the shores of Lake Superior here in Marquette, Michigan. And let's check out the van. All right, we'll take a look in the front first. Climbing in. So I still have my uh, breakfast bag here with some food, the uh, jet boil flash, some utensils. Behind it is another um, backpack with some technology in it, laptop and whatnot. Here's a bag with toiletries, toothbrush, etc. We have the very important sun shield for blocking sun. Um, I've got some water bottles, some food. Down here, electric razor and change, Kleenex and a garbage. And of course, we still have the Spaceman and a turquoise eagle from New Mexico. All right, let's look in the sliding door here. This is where I get in and out of all the time for sleeping. I usually tilt the seat up a little more vertical for sleeping, but uh, there's the camping mattress, iPad, open space, which is great, um, hat and fanny pack. Here's the down blanket and uh, have the ukulele in there and the bike. And I just prefer to have the bike inside. It is a hassle. I have to take the front wheel off um, and it does take up space that other stuff could go into but I really like the fact that it's out of sight, out of the bad weather, and uh, for now, I think I'm gonna keep it like that, bike inside. Okay, we'll look on the other side. Again, this open space here is nice. Um, at times I use hangers and hang clothes to dry right off the bike, might as well. Underneath here, we've got supplies on both sides. I've got little pull-out wooden trays and uh, various supplies underneath. Pretty handy to store it under there. Okay, we'll take a look in the back. So here's my gym bag with clothes and towel, etc. All the stuff for showering. I did downsize this tub. I had a bigger tub and this one is smaller and it's got just the essentials for cooking. Another jet boil stove, the Minimo, frying pan, a few other things. We got the cooler, of course. And this bag has a bunch of food and other supplies in it, which could be downsized as I use the stuff, we'll see. Got the hiking boots. This is really nice to have. The rechargeable vacuum comes in very handy. Fits right there. And underneath this whole deal is a hatch. And I have that packed with more supplies, more food, and my tent which is a whole nother topic, you know, I haven't used it lately, but a tent is nice to have for camping purposes. And also some recovery gear, a towing strap, um, a rechargeable uh, battery starter thing, and a few other recovery type items. Gotta have the bee. My daughter made that. She does crochet, Fruity Loops crochet. All right, let's take a look in the rooftop box. So we've got a duffel in the very back with some biking clothes and stuff. Um, this is new, this is called a luggable loo, and it's basically a portable toilet. So I went back and forth on a couple different models. And for now I've got this one, and like when I'm in the back country, so I don't have to dig a hole or whatever, 
um, I think it'll come in handy. Even if it comes in handy once in a while, it's probably worth it. Now it does take up a lot of space as far as in this rooftop box. Excuse the traffic noise there. Um, but for now I'm going with it. Um, got some other supplies, just sometimes random loose stuff I throw up here just so it's not cluttering the main part of the van. Got the hiking poles, foldable chair, um, air pump for the bike. This bag has biking cleaning supplies in it. Probably don't need all that, but it just fit right here so well. I just left it for now. Got some other food and supplies here. Again, just random stuff I like to throw up here to get out of the main area so it's not cluttered. Might as well use the space up here if you have it, right? And of course, the spare tire, which this is a good place for it, up and out of the way. And do you need a spare tire? No, not really. This comes with the tire inflator kit. Um, it's an option to get a spare tire when you order the van, but of course, when I bought it, it was not, I just had to take what was available. So I bought this aftermarket spare. I made a video about it. If you're interested, you can check my channel. Um, but it's up there and it's got a jack and all the tools inside this bag. So there we go. Okay, that's it for this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm always trying to trim things down, keep the weight light as possible, and the clutter to a minimum. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.